I got them, I guess. I got them. I say I did, I did. I say I got them, I did. Hey, y'all wanna watch me fish for a little bit? It ain't gonna be nothing interesting. I ain't gonna be doing a whole lot of talking. Look right there. I've been sitting up there on the deck watching these fish. Fish are going crazy, man. We got a front coming through. And uh, we're supposed to have a front coming through. We ain't got no damn rain. We just had a couple of sprinkles here and there all day. But uh, I'm gonna try this. All right, I'm gonna just put the camera down and let you see what happens. It's gonna sprinkle a little bit here now. Now, like, see you see this, see this rain coming now? You are gonna see it's gonna rain a little bit here and there. But it ain't nothing big. Ain't no big deal. I'm gonna try to find a good spot for this camera so uh, y'all can watch. Um. Let's see. Put it right over there, I guess. I'm gonna start off with this dam. I don't even know where to put y'all at. Gotta get y'all on the edge. I'm fishing out that way. Oh, what the hell? Damn, my damn, look, I thought I was already getting a bite. I ain't even throw the damn thing in the water. My bait's still right here. This started hitting my, this is hanging around my neck and it started hitting my pole. I'm like, what the hell? Something's shaking my line already. Yeah, I'm drinking. You know it. All right, just let it roll. We can edit the bullshit out later. What I got on here is a topwater frog. The zoom frog. Watermelon seed, I think. Let's uh, let's throw it across there and um, shake them up. I got a true turn uh, hook on here. I'm just going to bring it right across. How about I just bring it right across here? I know this is a small bass that's um, living right over here. I really don't want to catch it, but I just want to stir him up a little bit. He's right here by me, too. I may get another one way out there. I just want to stir him up. I don't want to catch him. Oh, he, he's not there. He must be gone. All right. Well, let's continue. Go way over there. Y'all see that? Can y'all see that over there? I don't know if y'all can even see that bait. Oh, there's something over here, yeah. There's bass right up in here by, by my log. This thing don't swim too good. That's all I got to say. It don't swim too good. This frog sucks. I need a different hook. Actually, my hook is my hook that's on there. I got a true turn. It's not helping it swim too, too, too good. Can y'all see it where it's at now? Well, I, gonna get, I guess we'll get copyrighted music on this because y'all probably hear that damn music, huh? Let's go over here. All right, let's try it right there. Let's see what happens. I'm going to throw straight out, straight out there, straight across. Ain't nothing there, man. All right, I'm gonna turn the camera off so I ain't gotta deal with this copyrighted music. And uh, when I catch one, if I catch one, if I hook one, then I'll turn it back on and show you something. Be right back, I hope. So I was telling y'all um, the other night, if you watched that video when I was making the beef jerky, I believe we were talking about um, when I went to the Bass Pro Shop and, bought my life jacket the first life jacket y'all never even saw that life jacket i took it back but uh i bought this new president i guess it's called the president or it's a fluger p f l u e g e r president um Here's the number off of it. Can you see that number on the bottom? Let me just tell you what it is. It's a PRES SP20. 
Press P20. It's a very, very small, really small reel. Um, I don't know much about it, but I bought, I wanted to just go buy the smallest reel that I could. I have four pound uh, mono on here. And I have it on a fishing reel. I have it on a rod. This rod I found in the trash. My neighbor threw it out. And uh, I put a new tip on it. It, just, it needed a tip. It's pretty much all it needed. So this is a Matsu. Matsu? I don't know how you spell it. I, know how you, I know how you spell it, but I don't know how you say it. Anyway, um, I can't go by the, uh, the specs that's on here. Because... It was broken. I don't know how much of it's been broken, but the model is a MTZ 662 slash MS. It started out at six foot six, and it's a two piece medium action spinning rod. Six to 14 pound line is what they uh, suggest, and a lure weight of three sixteenths to one half ounce which is five to 14 grams. Made in China. Whoa, it's made in China, what? Oh boy. No wonder I ain't been catching nothing. You ain't got no damn bluegill in China, do they? Anyway, what I'm fishing with today on this reel, or this rod, is a baby bluegill. It's a little bitty bluegill. You see that little bluegill? He's got a little bluegill right there. Which bluegills really don't have that blue of a gill, but this, bait is made by live target you see it says live target right there and it is small it's a very small bait I've caught some on it before um, it came with a whole tackle box full of crap that I found at the Goodwill for very cheap a lot of good lures is in there and uh, this is what I'm fishing with folks this reel I love this reel it's so quiet I mean, it is so smooth. It's beautiful. It was 60, I think it was $60 or something like that. I'm not sure how much it costs. I don't care how much it costs. I'll find out when I get my damn bill, when I get my credit card bill. I usually don't run around with cash. I, I, go, to shop, I go shopping with credit cards and uh, I pay them off every month. Every time, when you get a bill, pay it off. If you ain't got enough to buy it if you ain't got enough to buy it don't put it on your credit card that's how that's how i've been taught my mother taught me how to shop with credit cards you pay it off every single month when you get your bill in the mail send them the check for the full amount do not mess around with no damn interest or none of that crap you know and that's how you save money you spend money but you save money you know nobody carries damn that much cash around well some people carry cash around but I like to just use my credit cards and I get cash back for it. So, see how, see how smooth this is? And it casts for like a mile. I mean, this thing will freaking fly. This thing will fly. I can cast damn near all the way across. I know I can cast all the way across if I go that way, but um, this thing will freaking cruise. It's a great casting reel. And uh, I was reading like um, some of the specs on it every, for every crank that you go around, it brings the bait two feet. Is that what it was like, two feet closer? So let's try that. Can y'all see that bait down there on the ground? All right, from, from, from that, from where I'm gonna land the bait to that next screw, I think it's 16 inches. So from right there to the next screw, which is right there is 16 inches. If I did them 16 inches on center, I, um, I probably did. I may have done them 24, so I don't know. But anyway, let's just go one crank all the way around. See how far we get it. Right there it is. So I must have done 24 inches. I must have done 24 on center, which is two foot, two foot. 24 on center is two foot. Ain't that right? Two foot? You hear smooth this is, man? I mean, of course a brand new fishing reel is gonna be very quiet and very smooth like that. But I am a fan of the Flugers. I guess that's how you say it, Flugers. 
Um, I'm going to end this video, folks. I ain't catching anything. Really, I'm not. <laughs> let me get this. Let me get this here. I mean, uh, yeah. I'm, first of all, let me say thank you to my neighbor for throwing out this rod. I am, and I like this rod. It needs a bigger reel. I agree. So next, I'm going to be in the market for a smaller rod to put this reel on. And then I'll probably have to buy a, a bigger reel to put on this rod. But I mean, really, you know, all, all the only thing wrong with it was I need to put I had to put a tip on there. So I have tips. I keep those and some hot glue, whatever. Anyway, folks, I'm not catching anything. I thought I was going to because I've been sitting up there back in the back. I've been sitting up there where my you know where i sit usually i mean i've been sitting out here watching bass like bust the damn water and shit going crazy i come down here and nothing I ain't caught shit but if i'd have put a damn plastic worm on there and done like i always do i'd have caught a little one <coughs> but anyway i'm gonna go back up there there somewhere and uh i'm gonna catch a little one catch me a little buzz before dinner so I'm sorry I didn't catch y'all fish. How about a duck? How about, would that do? Would a duck do? Oh, by the way, them ants did bite. I'll show you what happened. That's the only place I really found anything is on my damn leg that was closest to them. Um, and I don't know, man. It, it don't feel like there's poison. It don't itch. It don't scratch or nothing like that. But it's obviously irritated. It's, it's, it's going to have to be in... Uh, I'm going to have to take care of it. I'm going to have to put some shit on it. And not shit, but, you know, I'm going to have to put some medicine on it. So, they did bite me. They got me. I got them, I guess. I got them. I say I did, I did. I say I got them, I did.